piece of hair always sticks up. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I thought I would share with you how I organize and plan my week. And if you're wondering, I am a little bit sick, so I probably sound super weird. So you're gonna have to mind my voice. I was like, should I film a video? Or should I like do a voiceover or what? My computer is uploading a video for you guys for Wednesday. Um, this one's probably gonna go up on Friday. So I'm just gonna start off with like the whole story about why I have to upload this two gigabyte, gigabyte, very large video. So I had like uploaded it and I rewatched it and I realized that like I had stuffed up pretty bad in the editing. So I had to go through and fix that up and it was so annoying because I had already done all the tags and the description and I know like you can copy and paste that but like still that was like 45 minutes of my time just like analyzing that and yes. So I have to re-upload that video and get that out to you guys for the week just because I do like to schedule my uploads now that I'm back at uni. I can't do the last minute upload like I used to all the time. So here we are. We are organizing the week and this is honestly what it's actually like guys. I am a headless chook running around trying to figure out my life because I just overcommit and we're here. Okay, so the first thing that I really need to do is actually write a list of all the tasks that I have due next week and that I have to do and appointments and all that yada yada. So that is what we're going to do and I actually have my laptop here to reference off but I also have to get my uni like book because that is my guide to sticking to my uni subjects on time and getting the assessments done. I also want to mention that I am actually going away. Well, you already know that guys, but I'm going away in May, which is the worst time for uni because at the end of April, we have the holidays and I'm off for two weeks and then like I go back a week and then I go away for two weeks. So I couldn't have lined it up. It just didn't work out, but that is what it is. So I have to, like, even though it's literally the first week of uni, I have to start all my assignments to get them in whilst I'm away, if that makes sense. Cause that's just what we have to do when we're overcommitting to things. So yes, I'm gonna go and get that book and I will be right back. Okay, we're back with the book. And guys, this is my university Bible. I just wanted to mention that at the start of last week, before I went, and started uni I actually went through and I printed off all of like the things that I have due and I actually wrote a list of things that were due like by dates so obviously like the first thing that's due I wrote at the top and <laughs> so on you know what I mean I'll just show you here anyway it's really pretty and I have a lot of stuff due because I don't know yeah I did mention it I'm, oh my god I'm such a fruit loop guys like this this is so real life. I actually am at uni full time now. So I'm doing three subjects and that's classified as full time apparently. <clears throat> so I'm like very overwhelmed because last semester I did the one subject and the semester before that I did two and two were the struggle. So I'm doing three because I'm so ready to finish my degree guys. Like it's going on four years, four years. It's crazy. So. I know I've switched degrees a few times and I know what you're thinking, Tiana, you still have another three years to go, but it could be longer if I didn't do it full time. And we're just at the point where Fia's is old enough to do this. Also guys, I got this war calendar because I wanted the one from Typo, but it was like $80 and I just got the free one from uni, but it's so ugly and I don't know if I want to use it. So we'll, we'll just see if we'll fill it out, but I do have my book. All right. We have the holy notebook. Pretty sure this is, yeah, this is actually my wedding planner. We'll switch, we'll switch. <clears throat> I'm gonna write a to-do list with my trusty old Kmart pen. Okay. 
Alright guys, this is my to-do list. So I just wanted to show you last week's planner because I, I thought I did a good job guys. Like I think it's so cute. I got like the washi tape and made it a little bit more pretty. This is what it looks like beforehand. So yeah, it's just like a lot more visually appealing. I also changed my system up guys. So I'm using like these tab things as like time blocks and um, like I felt like the last planner that I did was like too overwhelming and distracting but like with having these time blocks with like the big chunks of my time during the day it's just I don't know a lot more clear to me so I just wanted to like actually show you what real life actually looks like because honestly guys I have a trashed house it is so messy and because i've been sick i'm like oh i just like i cannot be bothered to and fear is teething right now so life is like really hard and our house has been like slipped on the back burner but i'm just gonna like show you the study just for a little taste of what it's actually like but tomorrow is I should have brought it on my goals list, but tomorrow we are definitely cleaning the house. We have a whole pile of rubbish here, toys, pillows, a weird shaggy rug, a random chair, a face washer, and then the desk is just like so overwhelming. And then we have a, like a nice, nice cup of tea, but I'm such a hoarder. What do I even use this for? Nothing. I need a declutter. But um, this is what this side looks like. We just have just clutter. Look at that bin, guys. It's ridiculous. Okay, so I always like to obviously start with the date of what week I'm planning. This one is for the 4th till the 10th. And then I am actually going to decorate it with this cute little tape that I got from Kmart. I think this was like $5 and I just love the colors. I think it's so nice. So yellow last week was um, all like the stuff I have to do for YouTube and organizing and then orange was family time, green was uni. <laughs> So I always like to write when my videos go up just because I am such an airhead and I honestly need that constant reminder. So that's like nearly the first thing that I do and then I'm going to highlight it. To be realistic, I always wanted to like film and edit in that time frame, but I've actually used Mondays to when I clean the house now and because I'm only cleaning the house like a main clean once a week it pretty much takes up that whole chunk of time especially when I am filming because it normally takes a lot longer to like organize the camera and stuff and um, so I'm gonna keep it realistic and not put edit down but if I do then that's awesome <laughs> The planner is done and I kind of rushed it a bit because I can hear Theo, he just woke up. But we're going to go get lunch and then I'm going to show you the food 
list thing, the food list, <laughs> the meal guide for the week that I've done. I'm actually going food shopping in a few minutes, but I am not buying much at all. I'm actually using a lot of the stuff from last week that I have in the pantry just because last week was hectic and we did eat out a little bit. So we actually have a lot of like ingredients left over that we can use up for this week. And yeah, I thought we may as well spend a, like a whole lot less money in an area that we can. Um, so I'm going to show you like how I'm doing that and what... I need for groceries, but yeah, I'm gonna go and organize for you. Like, wait to get out of the house. Can you feel? Oh, go, 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 go! All right, guys. So Theo has had his lunch, and now we're gonna head off to the shops. But first, I really wanted to quickly show you my list that I made and how I like write out my list. Isaac got me this really beautiful list piece of paper, and it's pretty standard. Um, but I just wrote necessities because we're out of dunny paper and we use disposable nappies with my dad and at night so i have to get some for him and um this is just like my short list but i wanted to quickly show you how i actually do a proper shopping list so this is my other shopping list that both these are magnetic so they just stick on the fridge oh Theo's a bit sick too um but i, I always cross this out and like wrap more meats and vegan dairy and stuff um but this is like a great way if you have a lot of things to categorize what you need so i always use this and i love this one but honestly we haven't got much so i just use this list i also use this for like to-do list or reminders yeah. to stick on the fridge as well hey guys so it is quite a bit of time later it's dark outside um things just got a little bit chaotic what can i say we're keeping it real um but i thought i would share with you like how i prep a few things for during the week and um yeah i'm just gonna take you along with me because like wednesday and thursday is pretty hectic so i like to prep breakfast for those days and then prep a little bit of like few snacks I'm probably not going to do the snacks now, but I am going to prep the breakfast and chuck it in the freezer. I do smoothies on those days and it's just, you'd be surprised with how quick it actually is. How quick it makes a difference when you do prep smoothie bags, if that makes sense. I know like smoothies are a quick meal anyway, but this makes it 10 times quicker. I'm also going to prep our outfits. So, oh. I can't prep for you he's asleep but I'm gonna prep my outfits for Wednesday Thursday um just because again Wednesday's hectic oh my god my arm my arm guys oh man the camera is actually so heavy um <laughs> or am I just weak I don't know Wednesday is just such a rush out the door day that I just like if I can do something to make it smoother, I'm going to. So I'm going to take you along with me and we're going to prep the smoothie first and then do the clothes. So I normally use the ingredients that I have on hand and we have frozen spinach, berries and bananas. So I just grabbed two containers here. <laughs> this one's so old. Um, for the smoothie ingredients, I do try to limit as much plastic as possible. So instead of using like a plastic throwaway bag, we are using containers. And these are a good size because this is a smoothie for all three of us. So I'm gonna bulk it up with all the ingredients. <laughs> So now that the frozens are in the container, I'm just going to go into the cupboard and get a few of my secret ingredients out, which makes this a super smoothie. So I'm just going to pull out the cereal and snacks box. It's actually pretty light, guys, but I'm doing it with my left hand and it's the non-dominant hand. So let me just take you over here into the goodies. So I always keep like all the smoothie ingredients in here. So we're going to grab these, these, and this. Yeah, and we'll come back for that. 
Hi. Oh, and we need some all these. Nope, not them. Okay guys, I'm gonna go through with you. So we have all our frozen things, bananas, berries, and spinach. And then I'm gonna add some dates, maca powder, chia seeds, some oats, acai powder, hemp protein powder. And this is the key ingredient to make it a super green smoothie is this super greens um, spirulina chlorella barley grass and wheat grass powder. This is amazing to get in all those extra nutrients. I actually take these in tablet forms twice a day as well. So um, all this is like amazing for all the micronutrients that you need to get and just extra nutrients in general. doing smoothies in the mornings just because I know it's a way that Fedor is getting all his nutrients and he absolutely loves smoothies whether it's like sweet smoothies or savory not savory like super green smoothies and um, I also like the convenience of actually having them on the go so when I do take them to uni I don't drink them straight away in the morning I drink them on the train and I just take them in like a glass jar with a lid and I just like love that convenience just because when I do leave really early it's too early for my appetite to be stimulated um, and at least I know I'm getting all my proteins in and all my micronutrients and other benefits such as healthy fats and yeah it's just a really efficient breakfast that is like power packed with nutrients so feel motivated I just feel like when you are on the go and you are in like a strenuous environment you really need to take attention to your nutrition because that's really what's going to determine whether you can like concentrate and do the tasks that you need to do and really fuel you through your day so um now I'm just going to organize a few more things like my wardrobe so I'm going to take you along with me and we're going to pick out two outfits I need to find my phone to find out what the weather is on oh found it guys on Wednesday and Thursday because I need to like dress accordingly now guys I'm taking you in to the really disastrous messy room we're just not gonna address that today all right so I'm gonna put you guys down because it's Sorry guys, weird angle, but I'm gonna get the weather up now. Probably terrible lighting as well. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm one of like those grandmas that <laughs> just like always look at their phone and can never find the apps. Okay, so according to my phone, it actually says that Wednesday is going to be 34 degrees, but raining. So it's going to be the typical summer thunderstorm and then Thursday's a lot more cooler. So I'm going to accommodate for like the hot weather and the more cool weather. If in doubt, when it's hot, pick a dress. Honestly, I live in dresses. I think, you know what? Uh, yes, no. I like this dress, but the annoying thing is the buttons come undone. Same with this one. They're a bit old now. You know what? I'm going to wear this one. Yeah, yeah. Should we go red? I wore red last week, but oh well. Red's going to be my color. I also added the matching bralette to this dress. Well, they're not matching, but I think they go cute together because this actually crosses at the back as well as the dress. So I don't want to be like fiddling around in the morning looking for the right bra. So I always like to add any like additional garments to whatever I'm wearing it just honestly makes the life my life not the life my life so much easier so I'm gonna try and hang this you know what I'm gonna hang it up on my bed until tomorrow when we clean the house so that is outfit number one super quick super easy <laughs> this looks so weird but whatever um and then I'm gonna find something cool like 
for cooler weather. Alright guys, I decided to get out this other dress because it's like a maxi dress. So it's long and I'm actually going to pair like a cute jumper with it. Oh hi Pern! Oh hi Pern! What are you doing? Can I have this jumper? Thank you. Yeah, I this was like my fake knot, but I think it would be really cute with the knot and the maxi dress. I actually wear this outfit pretty often, to be honest, but um, it's nice for like still like warm weather, but cold weather, if that makes sense. Before I like finish off here, I just wanted to show you this little checklist that I did for my organization of a uni night. So I did like two sides. I did a nighttime checklist, which is pack clothes and organize them for me and Theo, pack lunches, prep breakfast, pack bags, and like pretty much have the bags ready at the door. So we can definitely tick off like 50% of these. And um, then in the morning, oh, it's upside down. This is like my checklist in the morning and my time frames because I'm just like terrible when it comes to times and doing things and I always like underestimate how long it actually takes to do stuff. So Alright guys, well I really hope you enjoyed this organized with me video and how I prepare for a uni week and if you did give it a thumbs up, click that subscribe button to see more videos like this. I would love to have you join our fan bam on YouTube. And I just want to apologize. I'm so sorry for my croaky voice because I'm just sick and it's just how it is. And yeah, with all that said, I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.